everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a come shop with me to Ikea. So I've been so excited to get back to Ikea because I've been there's a, loads of things on my list that I really wanted to get. I really wanted to get a parasol, um, so an outdoor parasol for my garden um, and they do them really good like prices in there. I wanted a white or a cream one so I wanted to go and check them out and stuff. I also wanted to go and check out some bedside tables and stuff like that so I was really excited to go and I thought you know what I'm going to film a come shop with me in case you don't know what's new in there or you just wanted to have a little look around Ikea before you go. So I really find these videos really helpful if I'm planning on making a trip and then I feel like it's not a waste of my time. So I filmed a come shop with me. I've gone around the whole store and I will just say that this particular store that I was in, oh my goodness, the displays were amazing. The flower displays and the way they put the rooms up, like together and stuff. They made them really different compared to when I last went. So I really enjoyed the experience of that. So you will see the displays they did, which I thought was just the best. Um, I like to get ideas from the room bits as well, but yeah, you're gonna see me walk all the way through Ikea and show you everything that's new in. I hope you were excited to go shopping at Ikea and let's see what Ikea has in store. So they had a lot of lampshades and things like this in today. This was only £13 and it was really, really big. And I really loved it. I really liked the idea of it for my dining room. I don't know, let me know what you think. But they had a lot of these sort of things at such affordable prices. The thing in Ikea today was definitely neutral and like wicker or seagrass, whatever it is, the material. And light wood and white and all of that. And I just really loved all of it. I really like to look around Ikea because in the rooms they set them up it, with inspiration of what you can use and what you can do with your living room and your front room with pieces from Ikea and it just makes it seem so much better, do you know what I mean? Like you actually get to see what they look like up and stuff like that um, and in certain places and then you'll see if you're going to like that for your front room or your bedroom or whatever room you want to use it for. Okay, so how stunning are these handles? I noticed a lot of gold against white today and do you know what? I really want to change all my silver bits to gold because look how much more luxurious that looks. I mean, that looks so expensive. And also my bester unit that I've got in my living room, my TV unit, it is a bester unit from Ikea and this one had like a concrete effect top. You can kind of put it together and make your own combination with different doors and stuff. And yeah, just to let you know that that is where I get it from, it's Ikea. And also, here we go again with the gold against white on the handles. I mean, I'm loving it, to be fair. Since you walked through the door, 
trying to reach you Cause I feel you What's the story to tell? What's the story behind? The mountain you're trying to climb Think I've heard it before in a movie line We can ride our own end in this time So I really wanted to check out all of the bedside tables and bedroom furniture and also £10 for this lamp is absolutely beautiful but you really can't go wrong when you get a bit of Ikea furniture because it's just so affordable and it's just so easy to get. This in particular bedside table I absolutely love that it's only £80 let me know what you think if that would suit my bedroom and these OG bedside tables with the basket in I just loved it. All you need to do is add a basket and a fetch car and you're on your way and all happy days. So this room gave me wedding vibes because that's the sort of vibe it had in it which by the way I will be planning my wedding very soon. Now that everything's opening again I can have a little look and book some venues which we are doing very soon which I'm so excited about. I know a lot of you have asked if I'm going to be doing any wedding planning soon and actually book my wedding. We just wanted to be careful because you know it's funny times at the moment but we will get there. So they had this new dining set in Ikea and I just loved it. Do you see what I mean about the style that they have in at the moment? It's very, I don't know, Pinterest and Instagram. I also loved this bench set. As you know, I'm looking for one and I did like this one. It was very, very nice. And also, I love the bar style tables. They were so nice. And this one in particular with the bar stools. Now these bar stools here were only £12 and they were new in and I thought you can't really go wrong with some of those for £12. I really like the black and white aesthetic at the moment. It seems like Ikea are really trying to become modern and they are listening to Instagram and Pinterest right now. Wow, look at this setup. I mean, come on, Ikea, well done with all the steam and all of that. I really enjoyed myself going around Ikea because I just think they put so much effort in to do the displays and change it around and I just, I really missed Ikea, I'm not going to lie. I can't breathe cause you pushed me back, I should have stayed, stayed away from you. It feels like I'm, I'm being attacked I don't know what, what I'm gonna do Trying to improve me, why you do that to me I don't wanna be with you Don't tell me that you're sorry All you do is fight me Don't know what I'm gonna do I wanna run away every time when you're with me You want me to stay just because you need me I wanna run away every time when you're with me You want me to stay just because you need me I just wanna run, I just wanna hide I just wanna be on my own sometimes Don't you ever say so I think I have a little bit of a problem, but I just love baskets and storage. I was in this part of Ikea for a long time, and I really loved these little baskets here. Just didn't know where I could put them. These also, I've never seen them in grey before with the grey wash. They may have had them before, but I've never seen them in Ikea. So I thought that was quite good. They were already painted. And yeah, this was just like the wall of heaven for me. I don't know what it is, but I love storage. And I don't actually know what I do with half my storage that I do buy but I just love them. These little baskets were so, so nice. I think they come in a pack of three. Yeah, they did, they come in a pack of three, but 
I did also think that £25 was a little bit steep for what they were, but they were very, very nice anyway. So I thought these under cupboard bins were really, really good. I've been looking for these myself. I just need to measure one of the cupboards because I know they're not that big, but I would prefer to have a bin and do like recycling that behind the door. Also love these baskets, by the way. They're in gold and obviously the white and the wood effect. I've seen these before, but they are just so nice. And they also had some new storage in, which I really loved the look of. Very neutral and beige and I just loved them. And that was these baskets here. They're only £3 each. And then also the little baskets there to hold certain things for a pound each. And they had a little hook, which I think I showed you previous. And they also had a matching laundry basket. But the little bags I showed you previous, and they are a bit like the ones you see on like Amazon and stuff. And I just really love them. They're like really handy to like put things in. So you could put like it showed you there, brushes and things like that. And I also really like this laundry basket. It's very wicker and a bit very obvious that I like it. And these were really handy. So this was an iron uh, storage thing that you could put on the back of the door or whatever. And they also had a Hoover one. Now these here, I'm looking for putting shelves into my utility room. So I was looking for inspiration there. And if you can't already tell, the theme today in IKEA was literally neutral and I don't know all the materials, if it's like seagrass or wove, I don't know what it is, I'm not, but jute, I think it is jute. They also had a lot of new lighting in and light shades, and I particularly like this one, it was very, very glam, and yeah, very pretty. So can we just take a moment to appreciate the faux flowers in IKEA are amazing and the displays they have put on when I was around shopping today, I absolutely loved them, it must have taken them so long and their flowers are honestly, their faux flowers are the best, they're a little bit more expensive I would say but they are the most realistic looking, I would definitely say that. And this little setup was so dreamy, I just, oh, I love flowers and I love anything floral and pretty. 
They also had some amazing, really affordable pieces for the garden. This parasol was also a tilted one and I really, really wanted it, but they never had it in stock, unfortunately. And it was only £35. I just thought it was an absolute bargain. And they also had this round one. Now, this wasn't a tilt one, but again, it was, I believe that one was £35, actually. I can't really remember, but they were only cheap. And this setup here, it just looks so dreamy. Can you imagine in the garden with a nice cocktail? Having friends around, around the table and a barbecue, I can't wait. But I loved all these tables and garden furniture that they had in. So I really hope that you enjoyed walking around Ikea with me. Let me know in the comments if you're planning a trip, if you've already been since it's opened. There was no queues or anything, so I was basically waiting for the queues to go away and all of that, and it was really easy in and out. So I'm so glad that I waited to go and didn't go when it first opened, because I know it might have been a bit of a nightmare. I'm gonna show you the couple of bits I did buy. I didn't buy loads of notes, it's not a massive haul, but it's always good to show you anyway, because I'm sure you'd be interested in the what I got. So as you would have seen, I showed you, they had like picnic, not picnic, um, like they had lunch bags and stuff like that. And they had this really cute one, the one with the white, with the little um, beigey handle. And I just thought, this is really good coming up to like the season where we're gonna go out and stuff picnics and all of that. I know it's not big, but I just thought it was really good. I also thought I could just use it for anything. Let's be honest, I think this was £1.25 and I just wanted to use it. Um, it just looked so good. <laughs> so I might use it for storage in here, who knows? But um, my sister thought I was absolutely mental just getting this for no reason at all, but I picked that up. So one of the other things that I was going in for was a coffee frother. So it's one of the little frother things. I've been absolutely dying to do this for ages. <laughs> Um, and I see one in there and I thought, I've got to get that, I've got to grab it. So yeah, it was only like a couple of pounds, I think. I'm not sure how much actually, I haven't got my receipt. Didn't plan on showing you this, to be honest, but yeah. 
Then I've been wanting one of these for so, so long. Now you've probably seen these with Stacey Solomon all the time. I've seen these since ever, whenever they came out with, because they're obviously napkin sort of, they're, they're, they're four napkins, like the napkin holder and stuff. And they're actually quite big actually, I didn't realise. But yeah, I've been wanting one of these and I've passed them in Ikea loads of times. And these are like four pound or four pound 50, I think. And I just thought, I'm gonna get it. I'm just gonna get it, I'm gonna use it somewhere. So I did originally think, and you might have seen it in the corner earlier, um, I did originally think about putting my tea, coffee and sugar on it because they sort of match. So if you remember, I got these from Poundland and I did think about putting these on there and just have them displayed and sort of and put together on a tray like that. I then picked up a Fedge cup. So I got the light one and I see this before Christmas and I really wanted to get it and then obviously they shut all the shops and that and I just wasn't in time. So I thought whilst I was in lockdown, my little wish list were these. So I just got one for now and I'm gonna put it above in my kitchen because if you remember the green one I had before, I put that in Harrison's room, which it's actually ended up in the utility room. It needs to go back in Harrison's room because I've been mucking around with it. But I liked the dark green one for Harrison's room and then I feel like I like this for here. I also really like, because it's really light, I also really like the idea of putting some of these in my living room. So I'm gonna test it out. So I bought one for now and then I'm gonna test it out and see. I didn't get a parasol in the end because I didn't have any in stock. But if you would have seen the parasols that I did show you, they were like 35 pounds, really, really cheap. Obviously without the base, but they are so affordable in there and they're quite big and they've got like the tilt and stuff. Some of them do, some of them don't. So I'm definitely gonna order one online and hopefully get the one for collection. So I hope that you did enjoy this IKEA Come Shop with me. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Like I said, let me know in the comments if you are planning on making a trip anytime soon. And I hope you're very well and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye. <laughs>